we're going to mix the dry aggregates in the coffin, as we call it, prior to mixing with the lime. Two buckets of Bilney sand, sharp sand. Half a bucket of oolitic, limestone dust. Helps make the mortar workable and improves its performance. Holds moisture. Porous particulates is the word. A 10 mil flint, again to replicate what we found in the original and to make our mortar as compatible with the original as possible. This is the angular flint, it's not pea shingle what we find is that the stones in the wall are quite angular. A quarter of a bucket of 20 mil flint. Again, this is based on what we've observed. We're also going to add three elements which will act as a puzzle lamp affording this mortar, an air lime as it's known, a non-hydraulic lime, the pozzolanic additives that we're going to put in it will make it feebly hydraulic. Again, this is what we've observed and we know that this pozzolan addition will give the wall greater, the mortar greater durability, especially when it's at low down level and prone to saturation. Brick dust. Evidence of brick dust and brick dirt in the original mortar. We know that brick dust and brick sherds were a favourite, Pozzolan favoured by the Romans. In addition to the brick dust, we're going to add a similar gauge of natural hydraulic lime. It's a modern product fired from impure limestones, limestone with a clay content, and this is reckoned to give us a reasonable match to historic lime mortars. Obviously, the modern limes are produced commercially and are much purer than what would have been gained historically from traditional lime kilns. More powerful, so we only use half of that is natural cement gained from firing at lower temperatures than normal cement a similar but highly impure limestone with lots of clay in it now we have all of the dry aggregates in the coffin i'm going to put my mask on because it has got lime and natural cement dust in it and i don't want to breathe it in shallow trench within the dry aggregate to receive dry quick line. One quick line to three parts aggregate. <coughs> this is a pretty standard mix. We know that this, with the addition of water, when slaking, will increase in volume up to two times. So we actually have more of a two to three ratio of lime to aggregates. Historic analysis shows most historic mortars, and I mean pre-1919 and certainly going further back and into Roman times, their lime mortars were much more lime rich than we use today. Now I'm going to add the water. Chemically, one part's lime requires two parts water slake to turn from calcium oxide, quick lime, to calcium hydroxide, 
which is slaked lime. Slaked lime is in the mortar and when we place it, it receives carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and carbonates over time. It's formed calcium carbonate, which is what this was before it was originally burnt. That's the lime cycle. The amount of water we add is variable on account of the wetness or dryness of the aggregate and how much leaks out. Ultimately, we need to add enough water to bring it up to a consistency for a good workable mortar. I've got my minimum two buckets of water. I'm going to do a third, because as I've said, will require more than actually is needed to slake the lime. If we just put in enough to slake it, it would remain a dry powder. We need to add more water to bring it up to the consistency of a workable mortar. Very important, the mask. I've got safety glasses on, but I will pull this down over my eyes to make sure nothing gets into the side. It's very caustic. I'm now going to add the water to the quick lime it will immediately start to react. It's an exothermic reaction, so it will get very hot. Up to 200 degrees in places, around about there. Initially, heat rise quite substantially, but after a minute, within a minute, it starts to die down. And as soon as it's started to die down a little bit, I will then mix it in, so that it's being mixed while it's still hot. This is thought to achieve a better mortar reckon to be to do with greater reactivity occurring at higher temperatures. generated by the heat now. 